All right, so I am just doing a little drive and talk. I don't know if I'm gonna post this. <sighs> Pardon this angle. I just, this is the only way I can film in my car. And I'm driving around right now and kind of processing something that happened to me yesterday. Uh, and I am, I'm still at this point not sure if I want to share this or not because I don't know. I just, I know, I know there's gonna be backlash, but I also feel like it's really important to talk about this and over my you know long time here on YouTube I've always shared <clears throat> when these kinds of things have happened to me when I have felt I don't know discriminated against because of my size or just treated differently rather maybe and I just feel like it's something to talk about something important to talk about so I am currently uh, 10 and a half weeks pregnant and I've been going to the same OBGYN now for a couple of years and I had a miscarriage with them last year last June and I really I really love my practice or I loved my practice because I won't be going there anymore yesterday I had my first appointment with a doctor um, because my eight-week appointment was just a uh, with the ultrasound tech so this appointment I had yesterday was with my doctor my first doctor appointment going through everything that's coming up kind of giving me the rundown did like a pelvic exam and you know all that so I will say my original OB I loved so much and I got notified about a month ago that she was leaving the practice and I'm like oh that sucks I love her she was so amazing during my miscarriage last year she was just extremely empathetic just I adored her with all my heart so I was bummed because I was prepared to go through this pregnancy with her so I got assigned to a new person I met with her yesterday and unfortunately the vibe wasn't wasn't great from the beginning I'm, I'm very I'm like kind of I'm overly friendly I want to like connect with you I want to connect with you I want to feel a connection with you like this is a big deal for me this is my first well it's my second pregnancy but like I don't have a child as of yet because I've only gotten pregnant once before and I miscarried so this is like all very new to me it's very foreign it's scary there's a lot going on and like I said I've been at this practice for a while and I was like well that's fine like I'll go with any doctor there because I haven't met anyone in that practice that's not like phenomenal even the people like at the reception desk ultrasound blood work everyone there is just so sweet so I meet with the doctor Yarman's with me my husband and we're in the room and we're starting the process of talking about everything and she says to me you know we have a BMI cap here right and I'm like, no, no, no one told me this. She's like, yeah, we put it into practice last summer, um, a BMI cap. And my heart like immediately just sank because I'm like, first of all, I just didn't even know that this was like a thing at some practices. I, uh, uh, and all, already, <laughs> already, BMI is such bullshit. And I'm so glad that doctors are starting to realize that because health and weight are already not synonymous. But also, I'm very heavy because I've been working out since I was like 10 years old. I've been going to the gym since I was a child. I've been on diets since I was a child. But more than anything, I've been working out since I was a child. I recently lost 100 pounds over the last couple years when I had gastric bypass. And I've kept like 95% of it off. So I have a long history of struggling with weight and I, I just hate BMI so much because I am very heavy because I'm very muscular, like a high percentage of my, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of fat in there too. I'm not saying I'm like <laughs> not fat, but I have a lot of muscle and it makes me heavier. And with that, it makes my BMI so much higher and as someone who's worked out now for over consistently over the last year who's worked heavily on eating more balanced who's lost a significant amount of weight who has like perfect blood work perfect uh blood pressure like i just hate bmi so much i just think there are a million and one other better ways to measure health and it's just it's honestly 
just another way to discriminate against fat people and to show that society just wants to cater to a specific kind of person. So when she says this, my heart immediately drops because I actually had just had a scare a couple days before with some bleeding and I'm already going into this appointment very anxious just dying to like make sure the baby still has a heartbeat make sure everything looks okay and this is like the first thing that's kind of dropped on me in my appointment and I'm kind of just taken aback and like I, I'm choking back tears immediately like I am hormonal even if I wasn't hormonal I'm choking back tears like this is a lot of information to just be dropped on me when I'm already highly emotional exhausted scared shitless of losing my baby etc and she's like yeah we put it into practice last summer um but like there was no empathy behind it it was it, like I, I was kind of expecting her to be like i know it sucks i'm sorry like i don't agree with it but she just kind of said it in like this tone i was just like yeah get out of luck she's like at least you're early in your pregnancy so it won't be hard to switch but i will say you're only 10 pounds away from hitting that limit do you think you could only gain 10 pounds during your pregnancy and I'm like, no. <laughs> I mean, I haven't gained anything yet, but I'm only 10 and a half weeks. Like, I've got a long way to go. Do I feel comfortable? <laughs> like, I will hit the cap of the BMI limit if I gain 10 pounds. She's like, we can still care for you and have you in the practice until you gain the 10 pounds if you want to wait to switch, but I'm sure you want to switch sooner to get more comfortable with and build a relationship with your new doctor. And like my mind is just swirling it's swirling and when she said like do you think you could only gain 10 pounds i'm like i'd have to lose weight at that point during my pregnancy because between the baby and fluid and water weight like there's just no way <laughs> there's just no way and i'm kind of just like i'm kind of panicking at this point because i'm like well where do i go because <laughs> I, I don't know i'm just I'm, I'm freaking out honestly i'm like so where do i go I just kind of blurted that out and she's like well honestly blank and blank it's like another hospital arm is the only one that's gonna take you like that and I'm like now I don't I don't even have a choice now that's the only hospital that will take me without a BMI limit and she said it's because the only reason is because it can be riskier with if I need anesthesia during the birth which doesn't even ever always happen you know it's not I don't know. I just think it's <laughs> just brief. It's it just felt absolutely shocking and like I told a few close friends about it and they were just like, "What?" And they're they're thin. They were like, "I didn't even know that was like a thing." Like, I would never even have to think that's a thing because of thin privilege and like you just don't even think that that is something that people would deal with. And it just made me feel the way it was delivered especially like it sucks enough and I'm like, "Why did no one don't you think when this was put into play last summer, like a notice should be sent out or something? Don't you think like people should be notified? I would have switched providers immediately because I don't want to have to worry about if I gain 10 pounds, you're going to boot me. And what if I show up on delivery day and I thought I only gained 10 and I gained like 11? Are you going to say no, no delivery here? Like what? I'm just, I don't know. I'm very disappointed I just didn't even think this was something I would have to worry about and I know there's gonna be people who are like they have every right to do that you need to lose weight like it's not it's not their fault you're fat it's not your fault you're heavy you're clearly not a bigger person and this doesn't if you must know someone in your life who's bigger and can you imagine this happening to them it's just scary and now I mean yes it's early to me, it doesn't feel so early. 10 weeks for me feels incredibly far because I'm so grateful to have even made it this far right now. And to have a bomb dropped on me when you think you're settled, and I love my practice, it's easy. I'm used to the routine, I love going there. To have this put on you where it's like, okay, well now you're, you gotta find something else. It's like, it's just another, another, layer of stress with pregnancy that's already so stressful oh i don't know talking about these things it's it's important as hard as it is and as much as it opens me up to direct criticism it's 
it's important to talk about because I just, I just, I genuinely did not know that this was a thing. Um, and I did talk to one of my plus size friends who had a baby already and she didn't know that this was, she didn't encounter this. She lived somewhere else. She didn't encounter this, but she did experience like weight discrimination at one of her appointments where the doctor was like, you're obese and going to die when she got pregnant. And it's just like, I have seen so many incredible healthy plus size pregnancies online that people share and actually that I've even known in person. I just hate this stigma with size and health and pregnancy and it's not to say, it's not to say that there can't be issues from weight but it's not always going to be from that and it's not something that we can always just pin it on, put everything on weight. It was just very dehumanizing yesterday for her to drop this on me and then like then she's going through with the exam my my robe was a little too small I could barely close the front of it I'm sitting there just like naked with a too small robe on receiving this news and then having to have like my legs in stirrups feeling so like just awkward and dehumanized that's like the best way I can say it like I said I don't know if I'm gonna even post this it's kind of just me processing everything out loud it just happened yesterday um thank god the baby's fine at the end of the day that's all that matters especially since we had the scare a few days before uh yesterday so now to find a new a new doctor i just wanted to share this talk about how i don't think it's right and i wanted to know if you guys have ever encountered anything like this before and if you have and you're comfortable sharing i'd love to see in the comments um your experience i mean i was gonna say please be kind but that's not gonna stop anyone who's not gonna be kind. Several days later. Okay, it felt fitting to do the second part to this video also in the car. <laughs> so um, I have a, a silver lining to this whole situation. So I ended up finding a new OB because obviously I did not feel comfortable <laughs> being told I can only gain 10 pounds <laughs> during my pregnancy or I'd hit their BMI limit and not be able to give birth there. Um, so I immediately like went on to my health insurance website and found who's accepted and looked up the best reviews and gave a call to this one place and I immediately got like really really good vibes on the phone and they had availability I <laughs> it was funny when I called I was like hi like do you guys have a BMI limit and they're like what <laughs> I'm like a body mass index limit and they're like no I ended up going to that appointment this morning and switching over and honestly I was such a nervous wreck all morning because I think like as a plus size person you know how anxiety provoking going to a new doctor can be not knowing if they're gonna be uh, weight shaming or assuming things about you because of your size uh, you just never know you just never know how it's gonna be and there's obviously really great doctors who can talk about weight in a healthy way and in an appropriate way and then there's some that are just flat out mean <laughs> so you just never know what you're gonna get so I was really nervous all morning um, but I went to my appointment and oh my gosh it was great I absolutely loved the midwife that I met with and the good thing is I'm able to continue to request her because I just I really connected with her I actually felt comfortable enough to tell her why I was switching practices and what had happened to me at the last one. And her reaction was literally, she went, what? <laughs> she goes, wait, 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 let me get this straight. <laughs> they told you you could only gain 10 pounds for your pregnancy and they have a BMI limit? And I was so grateful that she was just so empathetic <laughs> and she also um, confirmed that she agrees that BMI is total crap because of muscle and fat it's all about like there's so many more other factors to health and her agreeing with me on that and just co-signing my feelings and validating me was huge you know I explained all that had happened and she was just she was absolutely phenomenal so uh, I'm really grateful really grateful that it went well because I was honestly prepared I was mentally prepared for it to not go great and I was prepared to have to continue to hunt to find a doctor that resonated and made me feel comfortable and you know accepted me um and didn't 
you know, fat shame me essentially. And overall, so pleasant. So my message here, I wasn't even going to do a part two to this. I don't know, maybe it's an update in the vlog, but I think it's really important to tell you guys that there are some incredible doctors out there. Please don't settle on a doctor that makes you not feel heard. Or if you happen to go through what I went through with the BMI limit, like I know it sucks. It's unfortunate. Um, it, it sucks. So if you go through that, please find another doctor and don't, don't stop the hunt though until you find someone that oh, you leave and you're just like, oh, relieved. They feel right. It sits right with you because like I said, I was prepared to bounce around with who was covered in my insurance until I found someone that I really, really connected with. And I immediately connected with this person. I loved the vibe of the office and that really matters because I really liked my first place and I was very worried that I wouldn't be able to find somewhere that resonated as well. So please advocate for yourself. Please don't settle for healthcare that doesn't feel right or feels discriminatory. Um, I know it's hard in the moment, it's scary, it's stressful, but um, you got this. I know it's hard, but I just wanted to come on here and end this video with an update. I authorized to have all my stuff and information and all that jazz released to this new place and I am officially tapping out of my old place. Cause for a minute I was gonna like stay until I gained the 10 pounds and I'm almost at 12 weeks. I haven't gained anything yet, but like I, who knows, I'm not, I don't want that pressure of you can only gain 10 pounds this whole pregnancy. I have a long way to go. That's, that's a no, 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 no. So anyway. Yay for my new doc and the new practice I'm going to. And I would love to hear from you guys if you've ever encountered anything like this. My The doctor I saw today was like, I've never heard of that. She genuinely was like in shock. She was a younger woman too. And I think a lot of younger doctors are kind of more open to the idea of BMI being a very old school way of measuring health. But her disbelief was, it was really great. <laughs> Um, and it just made me feel very validated. More pregnancy content to come, of course, but I love you guys so much and I will see you soon. Bye.